Hey y'all, Chavelio here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. I keep saying I'm going to do these every other day, every week, all the time, but again, it's been a month, so let's give a quick update. Um, number one, I am in Plat 1 now, which is pretty cool. I feel like this is where I mostly belong. belong. It's kind of weird because I think I, I got placed in what, Plat 3 or 2, and getting to Plat 1 was actually a lot easier this time than last time. Obviously, it's easier this time because I'm an actual mid main now instead of before where I was just still practicing and learning. However, this time it was surprisingly easy. I think I got into plat through like a maybe like an eight game win streak. I got to plat one through an eight game win streak, which is kind of crazy, which is also why I haven't really been playing this month. I got hit with a little bit of that ranked anxiety because I figured that the last couple games were pretty easy. So the next ones are going to be hard. I'm going to actually lose them and I might. Not too scared about uh, the ranking or being demoted, but I'm kind of scared that it'll sort of even out my MMR in a way that <clears throat> it'll make it hard to break into diamond. It's kind of stupid because I should be playing more and I should be practicing more, but this is like, you know, it is ranked anxiety, but I'm sort of, it, it's not necessarily because I'm afraid to lose. It's more like I'm afraid to mess up, mess up my MMR. Which I guess is even a little, might be, be might be even a little dumber than anything else. But it, it's that point, you know, where you're playing and like, it's not so much about getting better, it's just about winning, you know? Because if you win, you get LP, and if you get LP, you rank up. And that's sort of where I am, where I just want to get that LP. And that's the wrong attitude to have, and I can't seem to like really shake, shake this. So I'm looking at my, looking at my head. I shaved my head and now I look, it looks kind of... Not great. Forehead looks kind of big, unfortunately. Um, I got to Plat 1 playing a lot of Cass. I really... I feel like... I, like, presence of mind was pretty strong for a while. Uh, I can't remember when I played. I think it was either 8.5 or 8.6. So, I, it was like... Right when ca Cass was pre with, with presence of mind was pretty, pretty strong. I feel like it was really strong. And just not a lot of people used it just because there was other things to take. But, like, for example, like in an Aram, well, I mean, it's kind of stupid to use Aram as an example since, you know, uh, was that one? Dark Harvest is really strong and it's not really strong anywhere else. But, in, like, if you took Presence of Mind in Aram, you see just how much, how stupid the amount of mana you got back was. You know, obviously in Aram, you're fighting all the time, there's takedowns. You're getting assists left and right, but that gives you an idea of how strong it is in like a team fight setting, you know. So mid game plus, it would be incredible. However, the good part of for cast was that it was really good in lane. Like as soon as you hit level two, you get like essentially unlimited mana. Like before you get tier, cast is actually has to be careful. Like <clears throat> if you without presence of mind, if you attack level two. Like, it's possible you can get the kill, but it's also very possible that you're just booming yourself, and then you have to sometimes you just farm until you get some mana back, and you probably, you might hit level 3 with no mana still. <clears throat> and it's even a little more dangerous now just because minions will attack you for the E, Twin Fangs. So, with, uh, with Presence of Minds, you don't have to worry about mana at all. You know? They... They changed it now, where, what, I mean, what I'm talking about now is 8.7. Um, presence of Mind now just gives you, what, 20% back? 20% mana back and, like, 10% cooldown reduction on your ulti if you get a takedown? Uh, I haven't really, I haven't really played with it. It just doesn't feel as strong, which is what they want, right? They want, they don't want things to be overwhelmingly OP. They don't they want things to be situational. You take it when you need it. Um, situationally now, with Cass, I really like the... Ravenous Hunter, the one that gives you health back, that I feel is really strong. Not really strong, that's that's a good strong, just because the healing you already get from Twin Fangs is now that much stronger after a few takedowns. But I also really like the, the one mastery that speeds you up when the opponent is slowed. That is, is pretty good. You don't get to use that as much just because I think, yeah, just because uh, your W is the only slowing thing you have until... If when you build, uh... oh my god, 
Oh my god, the Crystal Scepter, what is it? Oh my god, I have to look this up. Rylize, oh my god. And so if you, when you build your Rylize, which I'm not totally sure if I should be doing, I built it basically on all my wins. Ever since they, what did they change? They upped the AP on it. I've been building it on Cassiopeia more. Um, I see a couple players and they <clears throat> they rush they rush Archangels or Seraphs or, or yeah Archangels they rush that that's which is really good obviously because you know the easy twenty percent which you weren't getting before with Cass but now it's an easy twenty percent but then they either still go uh, Abyssal Mask or still they, or they still go Rod I'm not seeing a whole lot of Rylies I don't know if I'm just building wrong or if it's just uh, your own you know play style whatever you want to play. But uh, that's what. Well, that's Cass in a nutshell right now. Um, I'm really glad that they fixed Phase Rush. You know, not only was that like the only good thing to take on Cass, it really I like Phase Rush in general as a mastery just because it's not necessarily oh well, it's not exactly a DPS increase. You know, like oh yeah, obviously like if you're ch if you if you have movement speed and you're chasing someone and you get to hit more hit them more because you have more movement speed. Yeah, obviously that's a DPS upgrade, but. There's always going to be mathematically something that's the best for everything, you know? Just math-wise, something will do more damage and this... Something will do more damage, period, you know? Which, um, <clears throat> which is a fun way to play, obviously, but I think it's more fun to have these, like, something like Phase Rush, where it's completely... Well, I'm, <laughs> where, where it's something you want to have, because that's how you want to play, you know? I mean, Cass is kind of a bad example simply because I don't think anything else is that good on her. But sometimes you have something like, for example, Cassidy taking Comet or Airy or even Electrocute sometimes, or, or Galio sometimes taking like Electrocute or that other one that gives you. What is it? Oh my god. Or. The one that gives you the, the shield based on your health and gives you armor, whatnot. See, those are cool things where you can actually change and your game will be a little different depending. Like, Electrocute still feels a little too too much of a flat like damage increase. You know? It's like some people will have to take it, period, just because it fits with the style of the champion instead of the style of the player. I think that's a good way to put it, you know? Like, what masteries for the champion and what masteries are for the player you know i wish there were more things like phase rush i also wish cassiopeia had more uh more masteries that she could take but regardless um that's about it so plat one i'm plat one i'm scared to play uh cass feels good right now cassiopeia uh, anivia i still like but anivia I I don't know like the the changes like the changes to the mage items all benefit her you know because you get the twenty percent now flat from uh, archangels which you weren't getting before unless you were building Morellos on top of it you know but and I mean I really like Morellos before but Morellos was really good mostly because it's a, just a great item or was a great item a period but even the new Morellos which is just pure pen and the uh, grievous wounds is still good on her and the Leandries. Like, it takes a while to ramp up, but it is good, and, you know, how long does it take your ulti to fully, like, two or three seconds, right? So, <clears throat> by the time your ulti's fully formed, if, you know, if you t if, if anyone slipped in it, that's already, like, four seconds of uptime, so, so your Leandries is doing, you know, the increased damage and just increased burn, and it just fits Anivia, obviously, but for whatever reason... Maybe just because games are shorter, you know? But for whatever reason, like, Anivia doesn't feel like she can get there. And, but she's still strong. Sorry, I seem to always do these when I'm a little congested. She's still strong, you know? She's been strong for a while. I think someone brought up her win rate before, and something crazy high that no one ever mentions. I want to say over 54%. That's pretty high. I don't know if that's just her win rate in general, or if that's her win rate for people that actually play her. But either way... Anivia is in a good place, but for whatever reason, Cass Cassiopeia just feels 
better, feels faster. You know, even with the changes to uh, presence of mind, the cast still feels good. You know, I don't know what, but those are really the only ones I've been playing. Like I wanted to get be that Oriana. I was playing her a lot for a while, but like oh, I feel Oriana is good. Because she's always good, you know, she's always strong, she's always good, her ulti does a ton of damage. It's, it's all, but... Something about her playstyle doesn't really fit the way I'm playing, which is really obviously my... I should get better, so I can play good champions. And then I can, you know, use them when I need to. That's of what I do now, which is just spam one champion, win, lose, or draw. You know, so now I have a Nivea and a Cassiopeia, which... Give me a good, good choice, but it's still not... You know, I keep I said this I believe last time where I'm not a mid laner, you know, I'm just someone that plays these champions. Which is not really it's not how you get better, right? Because you want to know the position, know the role inside and out, not necessarily just the champion, you know. Part of playing only one champion is so that you learn the role overall, but I feel like I'm missing that. Overall I feel like I'm missing something in general, you know, because I watch a lot of uh, Korean replays and it just the game sense they have is just bananas to me they make it seem so easy that means I'm missing something fundamental maybe you know maybe when I was when I learned to play the game I learned wrong and I'm playing wrong and I'm winning despite playing wrong does that make sense because I feel like that's where I am at the moment I'm not entirely sure how to fix this um but Right now I'm just watching a lot of replays and um, I'm hoping, like I'm still playing every once in a while, but I'm really just playing normal, I haven't really gotten to ranked. And in general I'm playing less, unfortunately, just because one, ranked anxiety, and two, I've been really into Crusader Kings 2 for the past couple weeks. Like, I keep, I think something went on sale and I bought it and then I went crazy playing it and then actually this past weekend... Crusader Kings went. Crusader Kings two was free, so all the, um, so all the DLC was half price. So I bought more of that, and it's just like it's it's like I should be playing games that I find fun, right? But how? But like, I also want to stream, and that's another reason why I've been playing less League because I've been trying to stream the right game. I will. I managed to get. You know, I, I think I mentioned this once or twice, one or two vlogs ago. I got Twitch affiliate. Which is really, like, I'm really proud. However, and I managed to get, like, 150 uh, follows. However, when I stream, I don't actually get any, my many views, you know? People come in for a little bit, and they, you know, sometimes they'll chat, sometimes they won't. And, I mean, that's cool, you know, but I'm trying, I'm, I need to, like, find, I feel like I need to find the right game to play. And, like, I can't play League, because no one really watches League, unless you're already either A, really... If you're really good, obviously, if you're really toxic, if you're really funny, or if you're playing, like, a character, you know? Uh, outside of that, no one really watches people play League. Like, there's people that are really high in Challenger who get, like, no views, you know? So it's not just about, you know, who's going to watch me, like, try to climb out of Plat 1, you know? So that kind of sucks, because time I spend streaming could be time playing League, but time playing League could be used to stream... So I'm stuck in this place where I'm not really doing either one great. You know, I'm half-assing things instead of full-assing something, which is kind of, which kind of sucks. Plus, recently I got I got into uh, Amazon merch, so that's another bit of my time that has to be devoted to, uh, you know, designing and uploading things to put, to sell on Amazon. Uh, T-shirts mostly, but it it, it like it kind of sucks because I want to be able to do all these things and I want to. I want to obviously I want to get into diamond, but I actually want to grow my stream, and you know I want to grow my Amazon merch stuff. I did want to grow my YouTube for a while. That's also probably why I haven't really been uploading things because after that whole thing with YouTube where you need like what a thousand subscribers to like be a real channel, that kind of threw me off. Like I was never planning on being like you know a big channel, but I, I believe I mentioned way 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 back when I first started I wanted to. You know, upload other games, you know, Let's Plays, maybe Guys, maybe whatever, maybe just, you know, me, maybe Montages or whatever. But, like, YouTube, I don't know, it doesn't feel as worth it. 
maybe if I had more time, maybe if I had, you know, maybe if, if I had no job and I can devote my time to just existing and working off the internet, then that might be something I can do. But right now, YouTube really feels like the bottom of it. You know, it, should, it really goes like Twitch, League, Merch, Games just for fun, and then maybe YouTube. That's that's where we really are right now. Like, I still want to focus... I want to bring back the focus on playing League, you know? I want to unblock whatever part of my brain is, like, makes it hard for me to climb, you know? Because obviously people are still better than me. I don't, you know? But I know that I'm also getting better. And I just can't always translate that. I feel like I've been saying this every single time that I do one of these things, but it is where I am. It's kind of it's kind of annoying, kind of sucks, but um, the only way, the only thing to do is keep trying, right? Just got to keep going. Got to keep. I have to. Well, no, 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 no. It's not just about doing it. It's about doing it well. You don't have to actually. Got to review games. Got to watch replays. Got to. I gotta just, you know, I have to, it has to be an effort, it has to be a conscious effort to improve, and that's what I'm failing at right now, because right now I'm just trying to win, I just want LP, and I just want things without working towards them, which is really true for literally everything I just mentioned, right? I want, I want everything, but the working towards part is where I'm failing, so, um, I'll try, 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 try to upload something before a month. You know, hopefully it'll be good news. Uh, we'll see. I'll upload a review. I'll upload more games. I will try. All right, well, thanks for stopping by, guys. Appreciate it. Peace. GG's.